did a video called Why Men Push Good Women Away. Now, that video went viral. All right, matter of fact, it had over 2 million views. And what I wanted to do was explain it here because that video was a short video, it was real. But I wanted to go into depth and explain what I mean by the things that I said in this vid in that video. Because sometimes you get a snippet of something and you, you and you formulate an opinion about it, but it could be a little bit different. So I want you to stay tuned. Why men push good women away? Coach Ken, I help people navigate the complexities of modern day relationships so that they live a life of abundance. On this video, we're going to talk about why men push good women away. As I said before, I did a, I did a reel, I did a TikTok video that went viral, right? Why men push good women away. And I got a lot of flack. I got some good stuff, got a lot of flack. I don't really care about any of that. But I do want to explain what I mean. I wanted to go in depth and do the long version of this so that you will understand. And so let's jump right in. Number one, why does he do it? Is because he does not want to elevate. What do you mean? He doesn't want to become a better version of himself. See, a lot of people are in relationships because they it's familiar, it's comfortable, and they don't have to become a better version of themselves. And so when you're a good woman, and especially if you're a good woman that requires him to be better, to do better, to, to stretch himself, he may not like that. He may realize that the investment is not worth it. And so what does he do? He will push you away. And so men inherently know that to get something good, they've got to invest. Some, to get something valuable, they've got to invest in it. That is why we know when we work hard for something and we buy something, that means we have traded a part of our life to get it. So we invest in it. And so when he walks away, when he doesn't elevate, he says to himself that this relationship as it is today or as I stand in it, is not worth the investment that I'm going to have to put forth to get out of it what it is I want to do, all right? Number two is intimidating. Now, this is where I got a lot of lack. This is where a lot of dudes are like, man, that's bullshit. I'm not intimidated by any woman. Well, you're not intimidated that she's going to whoop your ass. But you are intimidated because a lot of women are making money. A lot of women are super successful. A lot of women have jobs. They make more than their counterparts. They make more than their, their husbands or they make more than people that they're in relationships with. And some men are intimidated by that. Now, he might not say that, but think about it. So... I did a video on alpha women. Doesn't mean that an alpha woman is good. Doesn't mean she's bad. Um, but I did a video and, talk, and I talked about she knows who she is. She knows what she wants. And she wants you in her life. She doesn't want you to be her whole life. Now, I'm not just saying alpha women. There are other women who are not alpha women who know who she is. She knows that who, what she wants. And she knows she wants him in her relationship. She doesn't need him to be in her life or to complete her. She simply wants him because she wants to be in a relationship that's loving. And so many times when a woman is assertive like that, it intimidates a guy. And I'm just being honest. And instead of saying, communicating what he's feeling, what does he do? He walks away. He pushes her away or he's like, I'm done. But he will never say it. And then that's the problem. Number three, she can't be controlled. Now, a lot, and I got flack off of this. I said a lot of men says, I don't want to control her. I don't want to do this. But let's be honest. A lot of men um, believe in that philosophy that a man controls his woman. Now, 
I am a believer that, you know, that both men and women submit to each other in the relationship. The relationship is about partnership. It is not about one party controlling the other. It is about both of us getting our needs met by the other person who is trying to fulfill our needs. But you, but a lot of times when you have a man with a good woman, but she can't be controlled, what he'll do, he'll say things like, oh, you don't listen, oh, you don't want to do this for me, or you don't want to do that. But the reality is, is he can't control her. Or he says, oh, it's your mouth. Or you just keep, you always talking shit, you always running your mouth. And, and, and sometimes that might be the case. I'm not even, I'm not even going to lie. And some of you know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to you. But what I am saying is sometimes it's not the case. It's simply that he can't control your every move. He can't manipulate you in that way. I'm not saying he wants to uh, manipulate you, but he does want to control the environment. And he can. All right. Number four. Why men push good women away? Number four is his results did not equal his expectations. So each of us, we all have an expectation when we enter a relationship. We all do. We have an expectation that this is going to happen, that going to happen. And you enter the relationship, whether you do it consciously or unconsciously, with expectations. Now, it might be an expectation that he's going to be a gentleman all the time. He's going to open my door. He's going to do this. He's going to take out the trash. He's going to get my car washed. He's going to do all those things. He may have an expectation. She's going to give me sex five times a week. She's going to clean up the house. She's going to do this, this, that, and that. Okay? Each of us have expectations. However, a lot of times we don't make those expectations known. We don't communicate those expectations. The truth is most people in relationships, I said most, probably you, are poor communicators. And, and, and then the truth is you might say, well, I'm not a poor communicator. I'm not. And I say this. I asked this one question. I said, have you ever, ever thought something in your relationship and you withheld the information? You didn't say it because you were wondering how the person was going to react. And 98% of the people say, yes. And you know what I say? You're a poor communicator. Because whatever you, wherever there's lack of communication, always, lack of communication always leads to miscommunication. I don't care if you think you're a great communicator or not. The truth is, most of us are not great communicators. So, that being the case, he left the relationship because... He didn't get what he thought he was going to get. You do do the same thing. But that's why he might push good women away. Number five. And this is a big one. He wants to avoid his painful past. See, sometimes, just like you, we get into a relationship. And the relationship, there are aspects of the relationship that reminds us of a part of our life that we want to forget. And some men are get afraid about that getting emotionally connected, emotionally invested in relationship, in the relationship is going to lead to that part of my life or back to that part of my life that I don't want to remember. And you, you don't understand why, but, and, and, and if you don't create a, a place or a safe environment where you can express it, then you won't. And then sometimes he won't express it anyway. So what he'll do, instead of saying what he's feeling, what he'll do is he'll just back away. He'll back away. He'll push you away. And you'll wonder, well, what the hell happened? I thought I did everything. I thought I did everything. I had enough sex. I picked up his kids, washed the clothes. I tried to be amicable in the relationship and still no go. And that reason might be it reminds him of his past hurt, past pain, past trauma. Yo, and a lot of times, it's, 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 well, think about it. It could have been everything was going good when she just, uh, poof. And that might be the reason why, and you don't know. But that's the reason, number five. Last but definitely not least, number six. Ooh, this is a big one. Your masculine energy is too much. Now, a lot of women are not going to like to hear this. They're not going to like to hear as long as, I'm talking about, as long as I'm talking about the man, they're good. But when I talk about your masculine energy, 
When I talk about you, because think about it, women are, like I said before early in the video, women are making money. They are progressing. They are super smart. They are rising up that corporate ladder. They are entrepreneurs. They are doing it. Unlike the 50s and 60s when women stayed home. But what happens is they have adopted this masculine energy to excel in the workplace. And it works there. But when they get home, they don't know how to balance it. And so they bring the masculine energy home. When you bring it home, and I've said in subsequent videos that men don't know what to do with masculine energy when it's coming out of a female. Because what a man, think about it. If a man sees masculine energy coming out of a man, he knows how to handle it. He either confronts it or he backs away from it. All right? But he knows inherently what to do, how to respond. But when masculine energy comes from a female woman that he's supposed to love, he doesn't know what to do with it. Some men are combative. They treat it like when I'm dealing with a man. So what happens? Then y'all arguing all the day on time. And you can't figure out why. And then, or, or he may go into his cave and he doesn't say anything. He just gets quiet. And you wonder why he's not communicating. Well, your masculine energy is why. I'm simply saying, or he goes in his cave, or he can do the last thing. He might decide, you know what, I'm going to just push you away, even though you're a good woman, because that masculine energy is too much. Listen, you might not like it. You might like it. Take some of it. Hey, take the meat, spit out the bones, but you have it. I'm Coach Ken.